Hello kids, welcome back to Learn Net Scholar. I am Geeta Khatri and I am back with your lesson number 12, The Old Brown Horse from Enchanting English. Before beginning the lesson, I advise you to go down, press the subscribe button, hit the bell and click on all so that you can receive notification of the recently uploaded videos and you don't miss any of the videos. I am covering your whole course, all the stories of enchanting English, all the poems. If you want to learn for free, just go down and click on subscribe, then bell, then all. Now we begin our lesson. Kids, you must have seen your grandmother or grandfather, right? Sometimes they are lost in thoughts. Can you guess what do they think? Yes, I am telling you, they think about their past old days when they were young. Actually, when you are young, you have lot of energy in your body. You are full of strength and vigor. And when you grow old, your body becomes weak. During the days of youth, every person enjoys his or her life. This holds true for animals also. Here, the old brown horse has had his days. That means he has passed his golden days. When he was young, he was full of vigor. He was full of strength. He used to ride through the woods. That means through the forest and through the roads. Now he is old and he is remembering his olden days. At this stage of time, every person wants affection and time of his or her family members, they expect love from everyone. A little of time, a little of care. This happens with animals also. Now the horse is old. He cannot walk properly. He cannot see properly because our sense organs and our body lose their vigor with time. And when we grow old, we also feel some difficulty. That means our young age and old age are different. When we are full of strength, we can do everything. We can enjoy our life. We can choose among the activities that we want to do. In animals also, their body loses its strength. And at this age, when someone touches them with care or love and affection, they feel good. So, in this poem, we are going to learn how this old brown horse is remembering his old days. That means his golden memories and what he is expecting from us. The poet is telling us what should we do to make this horse happy. So, let's begin our poem. The old brown horse looks over the fence in a weary sort of way. He seems to be saying to all who pass, Well folks, I have had my day. I am simply watching the world go by and nobody seems to mind. As they are dashing past in their motor cars, a horse who is lame and half blind. The poet W. F. Holmes is saying that the horse is old now. He is sitting near the fence and he is tired. Weary means tired. He is watching the passers by and saying that I have lived my young life and now I am old. I am simply watching you all and nobody seems to mind. That means they are in a hurry. Dashing means the act of running somewhere quickly. That means all the people are busy and they are in a hurry. No one is paying attention to the horse. The horse is now lame. That means he cannot walk properly and half blind. These are the effects of the growing age. This is an old brown horse who is watching the passers by. That means the people who are passing here. He is remembering his old days when he was young and he used to trot through thick forest and roads. Along with its master who loved him a lot and used to ride sitting on his back. But now, the master is fond of riding the motor car. 
the old days have passed now but the horse is remembering those days now these memories are making him feel sad as those days are passed now in the first stanza the poet is explaining the old age of the horse how he is feeling he is standing near the fence watching the passers by who are rushing because they are in a hurry they are very busy he seems to say that he has lived his life the poet is saying that the horse is now lame and half blind cannot walk properly he cannot see properly at this stage of time he has lost half of his visibility he is half blind and he is lame that means he cannot walk properly because he is old so he seems to say that he has lived his golden days now he is old and now people are fond of riding motor cars instead of horse cars no one seems to pay attention to him so he is remembering when he was young he used to enjoy his life now the second paragraph the old brown horse has a shaggy coat but once he was young and trim and he used to trot through the woods and lanes with the man who was fond of him but his master rides in a motor car and it makes him feel quite sad when he thinks of the days that used to be and of all the times they had shaggy means hairy and untidy trim means neat and smart trot means moving at a pace faster than a walk the old brown horse has a shaggy coat that means his skin is untidy and full of hairs but when he was young his skin was clear hairs were trimmed and he was full of energy and he used to walk fast and pass through the forests and roads woods means forest lanes means roads he is old lame and half blind he cannot walk properly now because he is weak his skin is shaggy now that means the skin is full of hairs as no one is there to trim his hairs so his skin is shaggy that means full of hairs when he was young his skin was clear because there there were persons to take care of him and trim his hairs regularly so he is remembering those days when he was young he used to trot through the forests and roads with his master who used to sit on his back and ride him now the master is for riding motor cars instead of riding the horse so the horse feels sad when he remembered those days when he was full of strength and his master used to sit on his back used to take care of him he is remembering the days he spent with his master those days are past now so he is feeling sad because he is old and his master is not taking care of him as he used to do in the olden days sometimes a friendly soul will stop near the fence where the tired old head rests wearily on the topmost bar and a friendly word is said then the old brown horse gives a little sigh as he feels the kindly touch of a hand on his mane or his shaggy coat and he doesn't mind so much the poet is saying sometimes a person stops near the fence wearily means tiredly that means the horse is tired now and he rests his head on the topmost bar of the fence and when someone shows love affection or care he feels happy he feels relaxed and satisfied in the third paragraph the horse is seeking a friendly touch or some care from someone who stops near his fence and just gently push his mane or his skin this friendly touch or one word or two words of affection gives him relief and he gives a little sigh sigh what does it mean sigh means ah this thing so when someone touches him or talk to him 
he feels very happy satisfied and relieved because he is alone now he is weak he is old he seeks affection he deserves love he deserves care understood my point when someone is old you should take care of him or her whether he he is your grandfather or she is your grandmother because they have spent all their life taking care of you and their whole family now they deserves attention they deserves care they deserves their your, they deserves your time and energy understood now in the fourth paragraph so if you pass by the field one day just stop for a word or two with the old brown horse who was once as young and as full of life as you he will love the touch of your soft young hand and i know he'll seem to say oh thank you friend for the kindly thought for a horse who has had his day the poet is asking the passers by to just stop by the side of the horse just spend some time with the horse who is old and lonely just stop for a word or two just talk to him he will love the touch of your soft young hand that means just touch the horse with love and affection and i know he'll seem to say oh thank you friend for the kindly thought that means the horse will say thank you in his mind in the fourth paragraph the poet is advising to the passers by that they should stop near the fence and give some moments of their valuable time to the horse talking to him and touching his skin or the mane that means mane means hairs on the back of the horse so the poet w f homes advising you just stop touch his hairs touch his skin and speaks one or two words just talk to him for some moments to make him happy because he is lonely he is watching all the people who are passing in a hurry they are busy so take some time from your busy schedule just talk to him he will feel good he will say thank you in his mind for the kindness you showed to him understood my point so the poet w f homes has described beautifully the old age of the brown horse how is he feeling and what is he expecting we complete this poem now we will discuss the hard words and the word meanings of this poem these words are used in the first and the second stanza the first word is weary the meaning is tired that means the horse is old now and he is tired shaggy means hairy and untidy the horse is old now now his skin is full of hairs and untidy because there is no one to take care of him regularly dashing the act of running somewhere quickly the passers by or the persons passing through the fence are very busy so they are dashing as they are in a hurry trim means neat and smart once the horse was young and there were persons to take care of him so his skin was clear and he looked smart trot running at a pace faster than a walk when the horse was young and full of energy he used to trot through the woods and the lanes that means through the forest and the roads lame walk with difficulty the horse is old now so is he is unable to walk properly in the third para the word is weary the horse is old and tired now he rests his face on the topmost bar of the fence weary that means tiredly now it's time for exercises and question answers both are given on the website learnatscholar.com the link is given in the description box go down open the description box click on the link and watch the exercises and question answers bye bye for now we will meet with the next video with the explanation of the lesson draza meets the emperor